if there was a ceasefire, would Russia use it as a chance to rearm? If it's a temporary one, sure. So would Ukraine. But if it's an actually negotiated peace settlement, then no. I think they'll stick to it. They'll get defensive weapons. Because this whole thing was they don't want NATO in Ukraine. In fact, Putin's okay if they join the EU. He said that. He's even willing to go back to the Turkish agreement, which is basically he keeps the eastern portions, which was predominantly Russian-speaking and Russian ethnic anyways. And by far, they wanted to be mostly part of Russia and not Ukraine, especially Crimea. That's the thing people don't look at. It was predominantly Russian speakers and ethnic Russians. And if you take a vote, whether the current vote was fair or not, if you took a vote before, they would certainly want to join Russia. That's pretty clear just by the numbers. The West doesn't show you that stuff. Now imagine if Mexico signed an agreement with Russia and allowed Russia to put military bases in Mexico. How long do you think it would be before the U.S. invaded Mexico? And that's the problem with NATO is it's pitched as a defensive organization, and it in itself is. But everywhere NATO goes, it's just an in for the U.S. Basically, NATO is a bunch of small powers with the U.S. basically controlling it. And that's a sad part. It's one thing to be a defensive pact. It's another thing to basically just be a toe in a door for the U.S. military. And that's exactly what it is. Google the presence of all U.S. military bases around the world. And, uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty disgusting that, like, the country of Iran decided to put its country right in the middle of all the U.S. military bases. How provocative is that?